This week I am finally building my dream gaming setup and it's gonna be completely custom built and painted. This setup is gonna be insane when it's finished and we're gonna build the whole thing in this video. Now I completely 3D designed the whole setup in Cinema 4D plank by plank. I actually asked Govi to send me a bunch of RGB products and they replied with sure we'll send you all the products and sponsor the video on top of it so Thanks Govi, I guess. There is so much stuff I need to go over. These walls aren't even real, but more on that later. Okay, real quick about the wall. One year ago, I bought an empty apartment to use as a YouTube studio. However, there were windows all over the living room and there was a lot of noise from the street. So we built false walls to hide all the windows and also to put sound dampening material in to get rid of the noise. And so today I'm finally going to use those false walls to hide all the cables and build a really clean setup. I needed all the support I could get. So LG is also sponsoring this video with their crazy gaming monitor. I'm actually really excited because I've never had that good of a monitor. Now the first step was going to the hardware store to get all the planks that I needed for this custom built setup. I had the exact dimensions of all the pieces I needed and in the hardware store they had this fascinating machine to cut all the planks on autopilot. This here is Chris and Chris was very friendly and allowed me to film in the back and that way I was able to film the whole cutting process. So first Chris entered all the dimensions I wrote on a piece of paper in the computer then he put the plank in place, the machine then swallowed the whole plank and then the cover goes down but then once the plank is cut then you can see the plank appearing in the front again, the machine just spits it out and it's cut perfectly to the millimeter and we had a pretty hard time getting everything in the car however we finally managed to do it but it was pretty close. Now the total price of everything I bought was $300, this includes the wood, the cutting, the white paint, the screws and also the steel hooks to connect all the wood together. Now if even one of my measurements in 3D were wrong, then this whole setup won't fit together because it all fits perfectly. It's pretty stressful. Now I'm not gonna bore you with the whole building process. I'm gonna show a time lapse. It's gonna be a quick one. However, one of my future videos is gonna be a complete building time lapse of this whole setup. I filmed everything I did in great detail from building all the wood, painting it, unboxing all the products, installing them in the setup. So just know that a relaxing building time lapse of this whole setup is coming. There are some really cool tricks I used to hide everything and you will be able to see all of that in detail in that video. This desk is like really, really bent, right? Once we attach the left side and then we attach the right side as well, it's gonna perfectly straighten the desk. Okay, now, first of all, the front of the desk isn't straight at all. You can clearly see that it's bent and it would need support on the front. But that brings me to second of all, I'm not a carpenter and I just wanna make a setup that's pretty to look at and that will get me free TikTok views. And I think this setup is going to do that. So I just finished adding all the tape here for then painting all the wood without really affecting my wall. I already started painting a bit as a test. I'm gonna need to apply two layers because as you can see, it doesn't really fill. Okay, so the next day I completed the first layer of paint and then the day after that, I applied the second one because it was absolutely necessary. Now, as you can see in the background of this shot, it looks absolutely beautiful. It blends in with the wall. It looks very custom built. And once I had completed the building and painting of the desk, I couldn't wait with unboxing this monitor because it looks absolutely amazing. I've never had a monitor as crazy as this one before, not even an OLED monitor or TV, so I was really excited. Look at the curve. This is an 800R curve, and I'm gonna try to show you already. Look at this. I have never seen this. That is absolutely crazy. And boom, it even has a remote. I gotta check this later. Let's rotate that. It's a heavy one. Now the specs of this monitor are crazy. It's 45 inch, 240 hertz, OLED 0.03 gray to gray response time. It is 1440p. So the perfect viewing distance of this monitor is 80 centimeters and this is 81. Okay, that's actually pretty far away. So since this is an 800R curve, then when you're 80 centimeters away, all parts of the monitor, of course, on a horizontal line are exactly the same distance from your eyes. And because of this, the brightness will be consistent. Okay, now. I wanna test the monitor and I have my Cube PC here, which I'm gonna use in this setup. So this PC is the Aza Cube. You might've heard about it already or seen it on the channel. I'm gonna temporarily connect this monitor. Later, we're gonna hide all the cables behind this false wall. Also for the side monitors for all the RGB, it's all gonna be going to the back because as you know, all of these walls are false walls. There's windows behind this. There's a street behind that. Now for the mouse and keyboard, I went for one of my favorite combos. It's the white razor combo of the 
Protype Ultra keyboard. This has yellow Razer silent switches and then the Razer Viper Ultimate, the white edition. I mean, this is an awesome combination. It's also not an all white keyboard. It's white with silver and the white Viper Ultimate kind of matches that aesthetic. And this is absolutely an awesome combination. Also, the sound and the feeling of this keyboard are amazing. The Viper Ultimate also has a wireless charging dock and then after each gaming session, I can just put my mouse there, let it charge and then the next time it's just full again. All right, the next package is something I was really, really excited about. I had been waiting for this for a few weeks. It's my own mouse pad and I put a lot of work into this design together with the designer. Of course, we went through lots of revisions and as you can see, I was clearly really impressed with it in real life. And as you can see, the wallpaper on the screen does fit the mouse pad and you will be able to download the wallpaper for free together with something I'm really excited about. This phone wallpaper looks absolutely amazing. So the top part is dark so you can see all the icons and then the same thing on the bottom. I will make everything available for download on Gumroad. I will add a link to the description. You don't need to buy the mousepad to get those graphics. The PC wallpaper also comes for different monitor sizes, ultra wide, normal, super ultra wide, also vertical ones. The manufacturer that makes the mousepad is the same one that made this one here that I've been using for a while. The quality is amazing. So the link to the mousepad and to do all the wallpapers for downloading will be in the description. Now, my first impressions after testing this, this is the first OLED gaming monitor I've ever used. And well, the color is just so saturated compared to another monitor. It's absolutely amazing. And also the HDR effect. I turned it off right now because I wanted to see the difference. But before this, I tested Tracer with HDR and the effects of the gun here. Right now, they are just plain white and blue and they blend them with the overall image. However, with HDR, they really shine into my eyes. It's very bright and you clearly see the bright spots on the screen, which is amazing. I mean, also the colors of my ultimate here on the bottom, they're just so colorful. And I mean, the 0.03 milliseconds response time together with 240 hertz is just amazing for competitive Twitch games. And Twitch not meaning the platform, but meaning that you have to quickly turn another direction and then do something and then there and there and there and it needs to be responsive. Now the maximum brightness of this monitor is also very impressive. It reaches a thousand nits of maximum brightness when displaying HDR 3% APL content and OLED monitors also used to have some trouble with brightness suddenly dropping. OLED panels use something called ABL which is an automatic brightness limiter and basically it protects the monitor against things like burn-in. However since the monitor has an improved ABL algorithm those annoying drops in brightness don't really happen. Now something else that's really important to mention, usually OLED monitors have some problems with overheating. However, I did check this with LG and they did tell me that their top of the line OLED monitors don't have that problem and that those monitors do have reduced heat emission, which makes them keep a constant temperature during longer gaming sessions. All right, now for the RGB under the desk, I'm gonna use these Govi LED strips and these are amazing LED strips. They are kind of premium. And the reason for that is that there's much more LED light it has 60 LEDs per meter and this one is five meters long. It also comes with self-adhesive tape on the back. So installing them is extremely easy. You just take off the protective film and then that way this will easily stay in place. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the desk. All right, now I wanna see the result of the lights already. So I'm gonna connect the brick for a second. Okay, we already see some light on the floor. We actually see a lot of light. Look at that. And you gotta realize there is strong light in this room. So let me just put it out and let's check the result now. Oh wow, the whole setup is gonna be like that. And now what I have besides this, these are new strips by Govi. They are the Govi Gaming Light Strip G1 and these are specifically for monitors. Now these things are usually for 27 to 34 inch monitors. This one is 45 inch and looking at it right now, it's not even that bad. We are almost at the sides. Let's plug this in for a second. Absolutely perfect for the back of monitors and let's again turn off this light and then look at that <laughs> if that doesn't look gorgeous i'm definitely gonna choose a static color okay let's choose blue and look at that looks amazing okay there is one thing i forgot to mention in the box they also give you these clips and these are meant to tape to a surface for example the back of the monitor to keep either the strip in place or these extra cables so as you see this is a bit loose so what we could do is put a clip 
over that, push it down, then the clip itself is absolutely gonna stick and the strip isn't gonna move anymore. It's gonna be perfect for this part. Okay, so we can rotate the monitor. I am very happy with how all of this looks already. I mean, who would have thought it would look this clean when I started building everything with the wood, etc. I'm really stoked. This is gonna be an awesome setup. I am actually so looking forward to testing these lights. I'm gonna put them on the shelf already because those are for that corner and these are for right there. As you can see in the image I posted about the setup, these Govi lights are for the left and the right on top. You can't see them that well, but look at this. I think they are gonna look really futuristic. Look at that. Now, currently these shelves are very empty on both sides of the setup. So I wanna get some decorations already and I'm gonna steal them from my talking head setup. This looks very different when it's turned on. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna steal is this dragon from AliExpress. This is amazing. So I can just rotate the cable to the back. Then later this here will go through the wall and then the dragon can just be balanced on top of the mountain okay that looks pretty clean now what else are we gonna steal i think these pops would be great on the shelf so let's put these three pops here so this ring that you see here is rgb and this microphone together with this control deck from beacon is gonna be amazing in this setup and on top of that really exciting i do have an rgb microphone arm i didn't even know this existed but this whole white part is a light i'm really curious for that rgb microphone arm it definitely wasn't cheap i don't remember but it was definitely above 80 dollars so kind of expensive for a microphone arm but if it's completely rgb on the inside and it looks amazing in the setup it's gonna be worth it okay quick pause because this is pretty funny the microphone arm actually isn't rgb and at this point in the building process I had no idea. As you can see on this footage, on the side of the box it says RGB but then also different colors and orange is marked and so they kind of brand the whole box as being RGB but then on the side they say it's orange and it was the same thing on the product page. I'm gonna realize this later in the video but I just thought it was pretty funny. Alright, now it is time for a very interesting part of the video. I'm gonna make the first hole in the false wall. So I'm gonna connect this drill bit put it to the fast stance Oof. we're gonna have to make the hole below the support so right here in the plank but i don't think this is gonna fit through so i'm gonna have to make it a bit bigger i think it's time to take a look on the other side and see if we can get this through all right so we're gonna go behind the wall as you can see windows here i even have a terrace this is pretty narrow i'm gonna have to try to squeeze through okay i'm on the back of the setup i'm gonna have to destroy the plastic and so on the back behind this panel here we can find the hole we can see the desk and the rgb strips on the bottom let's push it through oh come on I'm very sure it's gonna work now. This became a way bigger project than I anticipated, but it's gonna look great in the end, so it's gonna be worth it. Now, having this false wall to drill holes in and hide cables is absolutely amazing. However, as you can see under the desk, the holes themselves do stay pretty visible and it doesn't make the setup very clean. So what I did at this point is I researched for white tape to cover all the holes and I did find it. And this tape is absolutely perfect to cover holes and especially in a gaming setup like this, if it's it's a bit darker or there's RGB shining on the wall and as a result also on the tape you will pretty much not see it at all and this makes the whole setup even cleaner all right now i've been on kind of a shopping spree but since we have this gadget here that will need usb power and since this pc is pretty expensive and i wanna well let's say not destroy it with a power surge what i found is a power strip that as you can see has surge protection and it also has two usb slots so that's gonna be perfect for the dragon with usb power right there and maybe something else on the Left. maybe even this bluetooth speaker this is extremely cool look at this it's the coolest bluetooth speaker i've ever seen now this katana was from a previous video i didn't end up using it it was from timu okay so this goes on first then this okay and then this fits perfectly okay this will do for now now i'm gonna be honest even with a stand i'm not sure if it's gonna look great in this setup because it's gold so i might get rid of this and then replace it with an rgb gadget i'm not sure yet okay so this is the part where i found out the microphone arm wasn't actually RGB. I installed it in the setup first and I already didn't really like it to be honest. But then when it came to my attention that the supposedly RGB part was orange and also that there wasn't any power connector, I started to have some questions. Now, this is very ugly and also the orange here completely destroys it. I actually think I'm not even gonna use this in the setup. And by the way, is this even RGB? I mean, it looks like there's lights behind this, but there's literally nothing in the box. It also says 
RGB lighting. However, on the side, it says RGB here and then orange, blue, green and black. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find another microphone arm. Now, I needed something a bit more entertaining after the failing of the katana and then the microphone arm especially. So I filmed the unboxing of the Govi Glide Y lights. This is a product from Govi I've always wanted to test in real life because it looks really futuristic. It looks high tech and I really wanna see what it looks like in a setup. And I mean, I just wanna test it. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, and I see it already turned on. I'm gonna turn off the lights so you can see it a bit better and at first sight it looks as futuristic as I thought it would. Let's hold it against the wall. Look at that. I'm gonna connect a few of them together. In the box there's these easy connectors and using them you can easily connect two of these Y lights together. One side clicks in the back and then the other side slides into another one and I mean look at how simple this is. Boom. All right let's hold it against the wall and then change some effects. This looks really cool. It is better than I had expected. So what does this do? Okay so that changes the color. Let's try blue. I am installing this in my studio no matter what. I mean, even on this side of the wall here, it looks great with the setup for a gaming room because right now I'm building the setup against that wall, but the goal is to build it all the way around. I guess there are some effects as well. Okay, that looked very cool. Now you can definitely connect this to the Govi app. I'm gonna do this afterwards. I mean, the blue looks absolutely amazing. So these are gonna come above the setup against the wall there. Now, I think I already mentioned this robot here and this is absolutely amazing. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but obviously not a normal one. And I think we can all agree that the Katana there, even if I would get a stand, it's pretty dumb in this setup. It doesn't look good. And so I'm gonna take it down and I'm not sure, but I feel like this robot is gonna look amazing on top here. Whoops. Now I feel like that when we're gonna have the lights on the left and on the right, that the robot in the middle is gonna be pretty cool, especially if all of these are gonna be set to red together with the red of the robot. And then also with the mouse pad and the monitor, I think it's gonna look amazing. By the way, a very subtle reminder that the mouse pad is linked in the description. I'm really, really stoked for it. Now it does have RGB, you can change the color, so I'm gonna make it red. I'm gonna play a royalty-free song by Harris Heller from Stream Beats. I'll keep my mic closer so you can get a sample. You can also change the volume on top. You can also just touch it. There you go. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is the best Bluetooth speaker, especially for the price. These are very premium. However, the sound quality is obviously not the main purpose of this product. It does sound very bassy. It does sound very full and warm. So it's definitely a great speaker. It's just that if you're gonna pay the price of that, which I think that one is about $300, which is definitely a lot. But I mean, if you're into this kind of thing, it might be worth it. All right, now the next thing I want to install is this Govi Glide wall light. And this is going to be on the front of the top shelf and it's gonna be completely completely RGB. All right, so in the box, they also give you a corner. We're not gonna need that right now, but if you wanna hang this on your wall and you wanna make a shape, then it's absolutely possible with this. It comes with pre-applied double-sided tape. Okay, so I definitely don't have enough of them to cover the whole width, but I do have some of these LED bars right here. All right, it's time to put on the last one right here. So let's see, it does turn on. Basically, you just need to click on the plus icon, then it says it finds this device, so we add it. And it is actually as simple as that. I really love Govi products. As you can see, we can reduce the brightness right now. It immediately works. I'm gonna select all of the parts here and then I'm gonna make it red. And if we take a look at it, there's definitely a problem on the right. Okay, so I removed one part from the right because the power supply isn't strong enough to power it all the way to the right, which isn't a problem of the product itself. I did attach more of these together than one kit offers you. There were six or seven in the box and it absolutely works for that. And as you can see, there's a bunch of themes right now. It's music reactionary mode. So. It works perfectly. There's a bunch of scenes, for example, gradient right here, it will change. There's breathe, there's stacking, which should be pretty cool. This is a really cool effect. I'm really curious how I'm gonna be able to hide this. That's a problem for later. All right, now some new packages arrived and I think it's all gonna be for this setup. Okay, so these are five USB extension cables. These are extremely useful when you wanna build a setup where everything is hidden. This is the white tape and then we have another box. All right, I did order these. So two RGB strips, one for the left side, one for the right side of the setup. And then lastly, it's a USB extension hub 
setup. Now, the next thing I want to do is unbox these side monitors. So this ultra wide is going to be vertically right here and then the other one right there. So what the plan is right now is to install these monitor backlights that we installed on this monitor here. I am also going to install this on both of these vertical monitors. LG actually gave me two of them. I want them vertically on the side as I've went over before. Now, both of these monitors are 34 inch, which according to the render that I made, which was to scale, should fit in the setup. Let's hope it does actually fit and that the wall mounts or better the wall itself can hold the monitors. So the overall specs are 34 inch IPS HDR 1440p. I believe they are 60 hertz, which doesn't really matter because they are side monitors. And I also took both monitors to the top down filming setup to attach all the RGB strips on the back. So these are also the Govi gaming light strip G1s and they are pretty new I believe and especially made for monitors mainly for 27 to 34 inch. But as you saw with the 45 inch LG monitor, even though they don't reach all the way to the sides, they still absolutely work. As you can see on the end result, the wall behind the monitor is absolutely covered. Okay, so both monitors are actually ready. All the strips have been attached on the back. This is absolutely amazing. Look at how easily you can form all the corners. This used to be a pain since before what you had to do was take one led strip and then attach it all the way across the back of your monitor but then the corners would be weird and this is actually a great solution so we've got some installing to do but i gotta be honest i am so looking forward to attaching these to the wall i mean if you look at the footage from before they look so futuristic it's absolutely perfect it was what i was looking for all right now i'm still building but i definitely want to check how bright these led strips that are on the back of this plate here are going to shine into the shelves okay that's actually gonna work let me turn off the light look at that absolutely amazing let's change the color to blue usually that looks the best now look at how bright that is absolutely perfect all right so i just finished one of the two side monitors and there is kind of a problem first of all this monitor wall mount is absolutely perfect it's very sturdy and the monitor fits the setup perfectly in terms of height however the problem is that the wall mount of the main monitor hasn't arrived yet on amazon it just says delayed as you can see from the side it's pushed to the front so if the monitor would be against the wall then this side of the monitor would be perfectly aligned with this one however i still think the setup overall is gonna look amazing when the side monitor is there too and then all the rgb is connected by the way i'm very proud of how i handled the bottom look at that it's all going to the back in that corner it's absolutely amazing all right now as you can see the side monitors are installed now imagine all of those monitors being turned on with the rgb it's gonna look amazing all right so at this point it was time to install the govi y lights and the way they work is actually pretty intuitive so the power cord and the controller can be attached to one of the sides so you click it on there and then the signal goes this way and then it spreads through out all of the other Y lights. So it's really important to choose your starting point very carefully because you want to try to hide it. I chose to install them in a way that the connection point would be on the bottom right because this way the shelf will kind of hide the connection point. Now I might look pretty blue but I did turn on these lights and I turned off the room lights as a test and I mean look at that. Look at how amazing this looks. It's like an RGB wing on the left side. There's gonna be the same thing on the right. Having a PC right there in the middle with the wing on the right as well would look epic but i mean for real let's appreciate these govi glide y lights these look absolutely amazing i don't see them that much online but whoa i'm genuinely impressed these look really cool also from the side so the reason i wanted to take the top part of the shelf and split it in three is that this way we can reach the middle of this top shelf and so now we can route this cable here to the inside of the shelf then i can make a hole right here to the back and also something else that's really important on the left we have these rgb strips right so what i'm gonna do is right here on the top i'm gonna make a hole so that way the cable is going to the inside of the top shelf and then the cable is gonna be routed to the back there into the wall and then it is also going to appear behind the false wall there and then that way we're gonna be able to hide all the cables just like we did under the desk right there okay i managed to do it i'm so proud of this i'm not gonna lie it goes to the inside of this top shelf and let me show you what it looks like on the back end okay so on the back we have the hole here and so this is where the top shelf is this is the hole on the inside and then right here we have the govi control module okay i was finally able to make this govi glide really clean it wasn't an easy task especially not getting this control panel here to the inside of the top shelf i think it was worth it because look at this it's extremely clean even from close i cannot wait to turn on all the rgb okay so we're gonna make the cable holes really quick and so the thickest cable that needs to go through is this really long display port cable and 
that is gonna work. Okay, now for the side monitors, I'm gonna do it a bit different. I'm gonna make it here because then the monitor is gonna go like this. And there's no real way to see it because it's gonna be behind the arm there. Okay, now we might have a problem because as you can see on the inside, besides the planks I'm trying to drill through, there's a wooden beam in the back. So I think we're gonna have to make it bigger here. And then afterwards, we're just gonna use this white tape to cover up the hole a bit on the left. And the monitor is gonna be in front, so it doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> All right, that hole is definitely going to be big enough, probably a bit too big, but we are not going to have any trouble putting these cables through. All right, now what I did after this was finishing the decorations on the shelf on the left. The overall goal is adding some things that will look good when being filmed or that will look good when I'm sitting in front of the setup and filming myself, because I think this is going to be an awesome set to film some talking heads, just like right here. I will add links to all products used in the description, including this Hypercube. It looks really cool. I think it's pretty expensive. It was sent to me by a company a while back, but I mean, I think if we look at this end result that we can conclude that it looks absolutely amazing. Building this setup was the biggest project I've ever done for the channel. It took a very, very long time, but it was also really rewarding because I didn't cut any corners. I hit all the cables I could. The 45 inch OLED LG monitor will be linked in the description as well as all Govi products and all the other products I used in this setup. There is a long time lapse build of this setup that will be uploaded to the channel, so you might look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every one of you and I hope I will see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.